Here to keep your portfolios feeling green, whether you're putting it in commodities or equities, are Adam Bold, CEO of the Mutual Fund Store, along with Beth Lilly, Portfolio Manager of the Gamco Woodland Small Cap Value Fund. Great to have you both. Beth, when you look at what we've gotten today, Beige Book, a record deficit once again for the month of de December, do you look at that and get nervous, or do you look at it and say, we can make some money here? <laughs> Well, that's interesting. I'm, I'm in David's camp, David Rosenberg's camp, which is I, I think we have very tough sledding for a while here. You know, we've got U6, which is the unemployment rate plus the marginally employed. You've got lack of credit creation. You've got no public sector to private sector handoff. So I think we're going to have very tough sledding. Now, having said that, I think there's tremendous opportunities in the market to be had. We'll talk about that, those opportunities in a moment. But Adam, uh, you take a contrary view. You think that the market is going to be up another thousand points this year. Yeah, absolutely. And if you remember, I was on with you last April when we were down in the eights, and I, I said I thought the market would close over 10,000, and, and everybody thought I was crazy. Um, I, I think there's a, a couple things that are working for us here. Number one is that the uh, retail investor has largely not participated in this market. There's all this money that's sitting on the sidelines, and at some point, they're going to start to believe that it's for real. They're going to start chasing those returns, and there's going to be a flood of cash that comes into this market, and that's going to lift things higher. And Beth has some ideas of where that cash might go. And Beth, you talk about three specific names, yep. among them Constellation Brands, Deluxe, and Echo. Talk about these companies. Constellation Brands is a wine company with a beer, beer business. So in essence, you're buying the wine company today and getting their beer business for, for free. It's a turnaround. There's the management team has run the company for a while, but now they're return on invested capital focused operating margin focused, they're really getting their act together. So you think times are going to be so bad, people are just going to need a drink? <laughs> you got to go with Constellation. Well, you, I think what we're going to see is, I mean, they, they run the gamut in terms of their wine business from premium price to low priced, and we're going to see growth in their wine business. And, and, you know, we've seen subpar growth in the wine business this past year because of the economy. But we're going to see the revenue start to grow and returns improve. Adam, you were so right about the Dow closing above 10,000. What are you right with your picks now? And let's talk about some of them, including the Luthold Fund. Yeah, Steve Luthold's Luthold Asset Allocation Fund. It's a fund that owns a combination of both stocks and not stocks. That is, it can be bonds, it can be commodities, et cetera. Um, and he's, he's a guy who, over the last couple of decades, has consistently been in the top 5% of all fund managers. I think that will continue going forward. Beth, what I love is you have some common sense points that you should keep in mind when investing. Have a good management team in the company in which you're investing. Change that Wall Street doesn't believe in. I want to talk about that. Cash flow and disciplined capital allocators. What about change that Wall Street doesn't believe in? What does that mean? Well, the fund that I run invests in small cap companies. And so we find it easier to identify companies where people aren't paying attention to it, you know, small cap being a billion market cap below. And there's a lot of small caps that aren't well followed on Wall Street. And so it's identifying factors internal to a company that people aren't paying attention to. Adam, Beth, so nice to see you in this first couple of weeks of 2010. We'll have you both back. Thank you. Thank you very much.